Hey guys, uh, my name is John Condit, and uh, this is my first YouTube video. Uh, so this video I've been wanting to make for a while. Uh, I'm titling it, Five Pedals That Every Psychedelic Guitar Player Needs. Um, I'm a guitar player here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm a songwriter, uh, and I live, eat, and breathe psychedelic music. Uh, anyway, so I thought I'd give you a rundown of my pedal board, um, just kind of go over the, the basic pedals that really any guitar player wanting to get into playing psychedelic music should have. Uh, so let's dive in! The first thing that every psychedelic guitar player should own is a fuzz pedal. Um, fuzzes come in all kinds of flavors, shapes, sizes. Um, this is the Merkin Fuzz by Catlin Bread. Here, I'll, I'll hold it up there, nice and quick, you can check it out. They're actually discontinuing this pedal, um, but it's a really great pedal. I like it a lot. I used to use a Big Muff a lot, uh, but ever since I got this guy, it, it has a lot of that uh, Rolling Stones kind of super fuzz sound, and then you could take it all the way to distortion tones like Iggy and the Stooges and whatnot. Uh, but a fuzz pedal, very important. Uh, a lot of guitar players have multiple fuzzes because, as you will learn, these guys have a lot of different qualities to them. Um, and then there's different transistors and whatnot, and that's a whole other can of worms to get into. Uh, pedal number two, I would have to say a delay pedal. Um, my delay that I've been using is the Strymon El Capistan Digital Tape Echo. Uh, it models tape machines and those classic tape delay sounds that we all have known uh, to grow and love from early psych albums. Uh, I used to use a Line 6 DL4, um, which is also a great pedal. They actually, Line 6 actually stopped making them a few years ago, and so guitar players have kind of been wondering, well, what's the next best thing? And, and in my opinion, this, this pedal can do whatever you want. It's amazing. It's it's a little expensive, but it's absolutely worth the price of what it can do. Uh, third pedal, it's kind of optional. I mean, fuzz and delay are probably a lot of your, your main ones for that. I would say just a classic wah. Uh, this is just your good old run-of-the-mill crybaby. Um, but Vox makes a great wah. Crybaby from Dunlop, they make a classic wah. Uh, and... You can use them a lot more than just your standard, you know, wah-wah tones like Jimi Hendrix. It's actually a, a sweepable filter, if you think of it that way. So you can get a lot of different cool sounds out of that. Um, and then uh, fourth most, I'd say, would be a, a tremolo. Uh, a lot of amps have a built-in tremolo, but um, it's actually nice to have a tremolo pedal. I just invested in this one myself. Uh, this is the Love Pedal. Baby face tremolo. Uh, super small. It's got a little switch here. You can go from a sine to a triangle to a square wave. Uh, a lot of cool options with this thing. I, I've really enjoyed playing with it. Um, and then fifth most, and I would say it's probably one of the most important. I don't actually have a pedal for it, but it would be reverb. Um, any amplifier should have a reverb in it. A lot of times it's a spring reverb, it's a tank that's in the back of the amplifier. Um, I know, for example, that the Holy Grail is a really popular one for psych bands. Uh, I know the Black Angels use that a lot for pretty much all of their instruments. Um, I, I'm a fan of just a classic spring reverb. So those old Fender tanks that you find, you know, just in any Fender amp, I just think those, those reverbs are just so great. Um, anyway... Uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope it uh, was inspiring to you. Um, anyway, I just like to keep making more videos. I think YouTubing's a pretty interesting thing. And um, it being a new year, I wanted to try something different. Uh, so anyway, like, uh, subscribe. I'll be doing more of this. And uh, hopefully uh, give me some comments, give me some feedback, what you want to hear. Um, all that jazz.